नमस्कार माय नेम इज रोशन थापा एम अ टीचर टुडे आई एम हियर एज अ मॉडरेटर ऑफ दिस पैनल डिस्कशन सो विदाउट डिले आई लाइक टू इनवाइट द पैनलिस्ट who are going to share the ideas the experiences the topic importance of practical education so i would like to request all the parents and their students to give you a big hands to welcome them please so here we have miss varsana mohan and nihanika sharma from grade a please come this stage and take a seat and next we have mr ayush barwal from grade 9 so he is one of the panelists from grade 9 mr ayush barwal so let me call another panelist mr sansar limbo so he is also student of grade 9 so we have miss karuna hogai the students of grade 9 like ways we have miss aishwarya pandey Ishan Morjan and Pravin Thaman. So all together we have nine panelists to give their opinions, to share their experiences on today's topic, importance of practical education. This answer we give generally when we ask the questions, what is education? But nowadays, young minds, one question pops up. The question is. do they know the importance of education they say in what form they should be given the education as the students know as we all know that the education is imparted in different ways so mainly two ways we have so one theoretical knowledge theoretically we transfer knowledge to our new generations and the second definitely by doing action that transferring training the knowledge into practice we call it practical education so here focusing on the today's topic practical education so our students from grade 8 and 9 they are going to put some ideas and their knowledge so that they can make you clear at this topic so moving ahead the first question I'd like to put her, and I hope answer from Miss Barsana Mohan, the student from Grade Eight. So we all like to know the meaning of practical education. So you have the very simple question for you. So could you make us clear what is practical education? The type of education which gives more emphasis upon the practical knowledge we learn is called practical education. It is mainly focusing on for the students for not mugging up the education. And I would say that practical education is a kind of wisdom because once you do your practical education involving yourself and practical appliances into it, we can remember it forever. Thank you. So this is what I think practical education is. Practical education is the process of learning and acquiring knowledge from deep practice for deep understanding by practice and proper implementation of knowledge that we have gained from theoretical knowledge. And practical education is the education that we that is the implementation of our theoretical knowledge and the knowledge we retain, the knowledge we get from practical education can be retained longer in our mind than we gain from theoretical knowledge. Thank you. So, could you? Zero experience. The question is: Have you ever experienced the acquisition of knowledge in a practical manner? Do you remember any event? Do you remember any knowledge that you learned practically? Actually, thank you, sir, for the question. And uh, recently, we were taken to a field visit uh, from our TQP group to a nearby location uh, named as uh, Tiger Lily uh, Museum and Painting Farm. We, the students of 21st century, have uh, been uh, bookies and uh, no known that there are many different traditional technologies that were prevalent in our previous time, and now they are in the uh, range of extinct. And uh, when we went to the field visit to uh, painting farms and museum, there we saw different traditional technologies like 
Tiki, Zato, and uh, how to produce hydroelectricity. That was the main uh, reason, or we can say, practical education for us to know how the traditional technologies were used and how our forefathers used to live and uh, survive on them. So, thank you. Thank you so much, I wish. Ms. Neharika, do you also have some experience which makes you learn in a practical way? If you do, please. Thank you for the question, sir. Uh, talking about practical education, what I would like to say is practical education is experience education or practice education. We all the Nepalese had felt the earthquake of 2072 by Sat 12. Before, we used to mug up the things that were mentioned in our book, the things to be considered before, during and after earthquake. But after the experience of the devastating earthquake, I have, I have uh, faced some of the ideas about the things to be considered. Uh, similarly, SQC. We, the students of Mount Venus Boarding School, are using SQC as the curricular subject. We form the team of the homogeneous students. We brainstorm the problem, categorize the problem, and stratify the problem. Though we define the problem theoretically, but according to the target, we, we share the target and we minimize the uh, problem from the students practically. Thank you. Thank you, Nihariga. Now, uh, let's come to today's topic, the core bodies. So, dear panelists, Mr. Sansa Limbo, why do you think you said that peculiar education is important? Why is practical education important? Thank you for the question. I believe that practical education is important because theoretical education only gives about the knowledge of fundamentals of life, but practical education makes us imp implement those fundamentals of life in our daily life and increase our self-confidence and motivates towards the success. Thank you. So here we like to link between two educations, uh, the theoretical education and practical education. Though practical education is very, very important, or more important than theoretical education, but practical education cannot be complete without theoretical education. So we understand. So from his answer, we can now, next we have panelist, Ms. Karuna Huagai. So what are the fundamentals of practical education? Uh, theoretical education is regarded as the basis for the practical knowledge or education. Uh, if, there, uh, if somebody have the basic knowledge about something or how to use that or uh, any basic knowledge about the topic, then uh, he can implement the knowledge for the practicality of the subject. Uh, uh, theoretical education simply based on, is based on the principles uh, about the context of the books, uh, but uh, practical education uh, deals with the practicality, practicality of the subject matter. Uh, so, I, uh, I, but without the theoretical knowledge of anything, the practical education cannot be implemented. So, I think theoretical knowledge is the basis for practical education. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ishan uh, Mr. Ishan do you agree with our opinion? Okay, if so, so can you tell us the way that we can keep balance between theoretical and practical education? Uh, theoretical and uh, practical education can be taken uh, side by side. Uh, first, uh, to do something you have to, uh, to you have to know what to do. So uh, theor theory lets you know what what to do, and practical education uh, teaches you how to do. So for uh, example, uh, I made a documentary right there. So I learned that uh, editing, shooting and Premiere Pro stuff from the YouTube and uh, practice it from uh, practice it by making small videos on our YouTube channel. Now we'd like to continue this discussion. Now for further question, I'd like to go to the audience. So audiences, if you do have any queries, so maximum, you can put two questions. My question goes to Robin. So my question is, um, how do you consider theoretical education as the base for practical education? While doing something practically, we need to know the theory, the process, how we do and 
why we do and we get it from theoretical knowledge therefore if we have to do our practical education then theoretical knowledge is very important for the person who is going to be involved in practical learning thank you this is Stephen Casey from grade 9 and uh, my question tonight today is is Pract we all talk about practical uh, education, then is practical examination possible in all sectors? If yes, how? And if no, how? The question is very clear. Is practical examination possible in all sectors? Generally, the students take uh, so what they read, science, as practical education, and other subjects they take as theoretical education. So you have to be clear that all the subjects can be imparted practically. This is the core of today's discussion. So you can put your view in the show. First of all, thank you for the question. Uh, according to me, uh, yes, it is possible uh, to uh, give uh, practical education uh, in every sector. Uh, like uh, in science, uh, if we read about anything that we can implement in uh, it in practical life and we can uh, give its examination and so on uh, like other subjects also. Uh, yes, it is possible to take practical examination. Uh, let us take an take example of English subject. Since we live in Bhaktapur, it's a tourist destination and why don't, why don't school take excursion to various tourist and tourist destination and make students talk with the tourist and ask tourists to grade their performance on the English subject and take results according to their views and opinions and it is possible even in various subjects like social, science is already given by Australia, mathematics, etc. Thank you. Well, the examination that we give in our school is not only the examination in our life. Our examination can be also done in our society. Therefore, what we learn in our school level is for, in, for doing the same thing in our future also, in our society. Hence, if we learn good in school from theoretical knowledge, then we can do good in our society. Then people can examine us in a good way. In this way, the, everything we read in math, science and other social subjects also, we can implement the things that we learn from there and so that the society people can examine us. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Sir and Casey, for your questions. That was a really wonderful question. Sir, but uh, one doubt is still there. That if we are given uh, practical examination, then on what basis are we going to be checked? Thank, thank you. you. Yes, panelist. So next question we have got. So on what basis Really do it should you have to take the examinations practically. As uh, we are students now and we are going to uh, have a uh, do work with some uh, employment or we have to get some jobs and for that uh, you are surely to have an interview with the consultant consultancy or uh, the manager or coordinator and for that your practical education of English or science your behaving manners and how you speak your English and all the literatures part also is just there, so I think that practical education can be judged in that way also. Thank you. So from the level of stress, just they want to keep this topic on the floor so that this can convey to the parents or this can convey to our guest, chief guest or the educationist. So they, they begin to uh, think about this. So for further, so in the future now how should education system be implemented or how should the curriculum should be modified so that with the change of the mind of new generations that they can learn easily and even they get the knowledge to tackle the challenges or the problem they face during their life. So saying this, and today's panel discussion, I would like to wrap up. So from the core of heart, I really like to thank all the audiences and panelists so for your patience and for your wonderful answers. So we have many reasons to say that practical education is very important. So remembering the importance of theoretical education at the basis of practical education. Now this learn to make the balance between these two educations. So dear students, along with panelists and all the present students, so every second of your life utilize it to learn the new things. So all the best for your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.